outside the box sometime. You know, we need to see something new sometime. Every now and then, see what the white people talking about. You know, what they say, the grass green on the other side. You know, I'm the type of nigga, I ain't gonna take nobody word for nothing. You know, I wanna go see that shit. So I'm gonna go to the other side and see. You understand? I I would disagree, but you know, anyway, that's a whole nother story. But you know, we just gotta see what white folks talking about, man. Get your sweat water. You know, we all on the same page, you know, we all, we just got to find a common ground between black people and white people, you know? And what's the common ground between everybody? What is it? You know, music, you know, music, everybody love music. What else we got? Liquor, getting fucked up. <laughs> you understand? And what? Money, sex, you know? We just got to find common ground with white people, man. That's all it is, man. And, but, you know, it's just certain things that, that's different between black people and white people. Certain things black people ain't going to do. Certain things white folks ain't going to do. You know, if you see a nigga in the X Games, then, you know, that's a white boy. You know, you I ain't even going to lie. You might, nowadays, you might see one or two brothers in the X Games. But, you know, the X Games type shit, you know, that's all white people, man. And, you know, the crime will let you know. You know, if you see a nigga robbing a liquor store on the news, you know, expect to see the picture of a brother. If you hear some motherfucker got a meth lab, or doing some mad suicide type shit, that's a white boy. But I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, the, the damn sniper, uh, what's his name? Um, Malvo, Mohammed, you know, that motherfucker threw me off. I heard that shit, I knew that was a white person, man. I said, man, sniping people in the nation's capital? It got to be a white guy. Two brothers, man. Shit, shit threw me off, man. I mean, you know, it's just a little difference between black people and white people. You know, one thing is clothes, man. You know, black people, we going to spend money on clothes. What we going to do? We going we gonna to go out to the club and we going to wear it to the club, you know. Nigga, you know, just, just think about your price tag, you know. You know the stuff black people wear. I don't see the... If something costs enough, a black person to keep a tag on it to show a motherfucker. A white person to spend what, eighty dollars, fifty dollars on a on a pair of jeans that already got holes in it, man. What's what's up with that shit? You know that's just a different. You seen the little the little baseball hats? You know what I'm saying? Shit dirty. Nigga will spend thirty dollars on a dirty hat. That's just a different between us, man. Well, you know it ain't too much different, man. We all kind of on the same page, you know, black folks. Who we got? We got George Jefferson. They got Archie Bunker. You know what I'm saying? They got Seinfeld. We got Martin. You know what I'm saying? We just we just on the same page. Just a, just a little different. We got Bobby and Whitney. They got Brittany and K. Fed. You know, just we just gotta figure it out, man. We got just gotta be the common ground with the white folk, man. You gotta hang out with them, man. You know, when I was in college, man, that's when I really did a lot of hanging out with white folk, man. You know, white folk, crazy, man. But you know, what, what What black folk do on a Saturday night? You know, what we do? We go to the club. We get dressed and go to the club, you know? So I said, I'm going to do something different this Saturday night. One night in college, you know, me and a couple of my homeboys, we go over to the white folk. We hang out with the white folks. Man, all they do, they in somebody's backyard, man. Just got all the liquor you want. Anything you want to drink, they got it. Kegs of beer, and they just in somebody's backyard, man. And you know what I'm saying? The thing that really threw me off about that night is, man, they had a racist dog at that party, man. A racist dog, man. I wouldn't have believed that shit if, if I wouldn't have seen it with my own eyes, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Me and my homeboy just chilling, drinking, you know, trying to mess with the little white girls and shit. Then all of a sudden, little dog just run out of nowhere. And you know, we we don't know the dog, so you know, 